Hi everyone, I'm Bart and we have a hot topic today we're going to be discussing and a very experienced lender is with us, Linda Bernal, who's been lending for over 20 years and is with Prosperity Home Mortgage. Hey there, Bart. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, definitely. So there's so much talk about the Cal Hafa Loan Assistance Program that's going to be coming available in the spring. Could you give us a, a little rundown of what's going on with that? You bet. There's a lot of misinformation out there about this year's version of the Cal Hafa Dream for All Shared Appreciation Loan. So this round of funding is intended to target first generation home buyers, and I'll explain in a minute what that is. And finally, to prioritize the participation of home buyers who are in a slightly lower tier of income. Programs should be available for reservations probably in about April. And so home buyers would know if they receive their funding by about mid-May. One other big thing that um, is necessary is the minimum credit score is 680. And they did tighten up the definition of first-time home buyer. You cannot have been on title, held an ownership interest in, or been named on a mortgage in the most recent seven years. Um, if you were on title or owned a mobile or manufactured home on leased land, that doesn't count. So you would be a first time home buyer. Um, also, one borrower must be what they're calling first generation home buyer. And that means that your parents cannot currently own a, a home in the US. So if they're selling their home, if they own one, but they're selling it, if that sale closes before your dream for all mortgage is going to close, then you do qualify as a first generation home buyer. The best thing that Cal Hafa suggests is anyone can go to their site and can sign up for their email news blast. So you'll get the information direct from the source and or from a Cal Hafa approved lender who, you like know, you has a right. track record of yeah, <laughs> who has a track record of doing these loans because it's important for us to know those guidelines inside and outside because we don't want any of our clients to end up in a bad spot. All right. Well, thanks again, Linda, and we'll catch you the next time when we cover another exciting uh, lending topic. Thanks, Bart. You're probably the only person I know who combines <laughs> exciting and lending in one sentence. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it is it is great information. So we appreciate you. And I just want to put a pitch in for Linda as well. If you are looking at <laughs> lenders, we have worked with Linda so much and just everything is taken care of. If you really want that exceptional support and customer service, I highly recommend you. <laughs> so. Oh, well, thank you, Bart. And, uh, you know, not to turn this into a love fest or anything, but yeah. I can highly recommend Bart as well. Um, his customer service and care for his clients is above and beyond what I've seen from a lot of real estate agents. Thanks. So you're in really good hands with Bart if he is representing you in a real estate transaction, whether you're a buyer or a seller, you can trust him and he will go you know, to the 110th percent uh, to get everything done to your satisfaction. <laughs>